Well, I did it. I finally grew my hair out for a whole year. I had this in mind for many, many years, and now I did it. I also grew out my beard. I wasn't planning on keeping it, but I really like it. I even dyed it white for Christmas. Oh, and obviously, yes, I, I took, took a, a picture, picture every, every single, single day. day. So let's talk about that. It wasn't difficult to do this project, surprisingly. Taking the picture was easy too, since it's just taking a selfie, it took five seconds. As you can see right here, it looks very good, thanks to the lighting. However, sometimes it just didn't work well, which is why there's lots of outtakes. In total, there were a thousand hundred photos that you saw in the project. However, there's nearly 2,000 outtakes. <laughs> I think you can tell I put a lot of effort into this. I wanted each photo to be good and not just plain and simple. Which is why I'm always wearing something different and I am in different locations. I don't think it would be as good if I were to take a daily photo in my house for example. Which is what I did once in 2014. And as you can see, not as cool. Thanks to this project I achieved another New Year's resolution of mine, which was to walk more. Sometimes I'd even do stuff like this just for the picture. I just want to say that I took this selfie here, it's in the park. It's quite muddy and here's my shoes. God, just to get a picture next to the train. Well, it was definitely worth it. It was a challenge to include stuff in the background, like the number 100 on the 100th photo. Or my cat. I'm looking for places to take the photo and coincidentally, she's always there. There is one little Easter egg where she took the picture. And cat just took the daily photo for herself. Do you enjoy the process of taking the daily photo? However, I'm not gonna lie to you. Sometimes I had no idea where to take the picture. It's nearly day 100. I'm running out of where to take the picture. I'm running out of places. I've run out of ideas of places to take the picture in the house. I didn't have anything green. <laughs> so this is what I'm doing. What was interesting about all this is that you could see when the weather would change. Whether it was hot or cold or snowing even. I'm so glad I kept going and that I didn't give up right until the end of it. So I got two more weeks until this whole daily thing is over. I'm really enjoying it. It's very cool to see how much I've actually changed and that you're able to see this through the two photos. It was so fun to do this and I'm really proud of how it came out. Even on New Year's Day where I decided to recreate the first picture. I really felt like I was reliving an old memory, which I was. Now now onto the technical side of things. Once I had the pictures, once or twice a month, I would sit and work on centering my eyes and mouth so that my face wouldn't move and you could see the changes. This is one month ago. I had made this very simple template and I think it worked quite well. Oh, maybe you didn't notice. I didn't take just one picture. I took three. I thought it would be a little cooler. It's like a moving photo or a very, very tiny little short video every day. It took a bit of time to put everything together. But once I finally saw the video done for the first time, I was so relieved. <laughs> It's just perfect in my opinion. My favorite part has to be seeing my beard grow. It's just so fun going back and forth and seeing like how quick it grew. It's just fun watching it back. Now you're probably thinking, but how did you remember every single day? It must have been hard, right? No. At the start of the year, I had made very simple rules. I would have two alarms, one at 5 p.m. and the other at 8 p.m. in case I missed the first. Whenever I was ready, I would take my photo. And if you notice in the beginning, I look a bit sad, like I'm frowning. I was with a friend of mine when I took the first photo, and he said it would be cool if I were to be frowning at the beginning, and then slowly start smiling all the way through the end. As you can see, that's exactly what happened. And honestly, I do feel much happier now compared to a year ago. But yeah, I'm really happy with the whole thing and how it turned out as well. I love telling everyone that I was doing this. The way I was describing it, it was like I was, I don't know, giving birth. <laughs> what I kept saying is that I'm waiting like 12 whole months and my baby, the baby being the project, is finally out. <laughs> If by now you haven't seen it, please go watch it. I'm very proud of what I've made and I love it. I'm so glad this is out. Maybe I'll do it again in the future. Thanks for watching.